who's the best passer on the team? Who you know that if you're going to sneak into the slot, you're going to get it on your tape and you're going to be able to release it quickly. We have a lot of them. Uh, yep. But I would I would give credit to my D partner, Henry. Uh, okay. he, always, he, he always give me good passes. Welcome to Tablet Talk presented by Lecom. I've got Rasmus Dahlin with me and Dolls. Thanks for uh, spending a few minutes with us today. Thank you. My pleasure. So let's look at a couple of goals, and we're going to look at actually the goal against the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, you guys were on the power play. You got the puck, and you decided to go right through the middle of the ice and take that wrist shot. So walk through this uh, the breakout and the zone entry a little bit if you can. Yeah, you know, before the power play, I was kind of uh, having some confidence, was feeling it. So I give it out to Tomer, and Tomer dropped it back and I uh, decided to go forward instead of uh, staying up on the blue line and I got a lot of space in the, in the slot so I just fired it to the net. I, I was happy that went in. You're going from your right to your left. As a left-handed shot, you seem to always be more comfortable backing in and then using the slap shot or the wrist shot. You've scored a few goals this year actually going to the middle of the ice. Is this something that you've worked on that specific play to take it to the middle of the ice? You're always trying to find new things to learn, and uh, that's that's been a part of it too. To create more scoring chances and to score more goals, and to be able to take the puck into the middle uh, helps a lot. That's one thing I've been focusing on, and uh, I will I will uh, keep getting better at. It. I always like to ask the guys what type of curve you use because it seems like you had that puck right on the toe of your stick. I like using my toe. I don't really have a big toe curve, but uh, I have a little bit enough. When it stays up in the toe, you can handle the puck better without looking at the, at the puck and get a better shot too, so uh, I really like it. So Dawes, the next goal I want to talk about is the one against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, very different than the power play goal against the Jets. You actually came in kind of on the second wave. How do you know when it's a good time to jump in and support and get close to the net? Or when it's not a good time and you need to stay back at the blue line? It depends on the situations too, you know. Uh, if I remember it right, we were down the goal and we had to score. That time of the, the game, you kind of push forward a little and do those whole plays a little bit more. Uh, so it's a, it's a fine balance. I know uh, Aspie is a great passer, so I knew he was going to make the pass. Now, what's really impressive to me is you pick it up and you never stick handle. Again, how often do you guys practice this where you sneak in from the blue line, you catch, and you don't stick handle, you release it right away, and you actually try to get the goalie by surprise? Yeah, that's a, that's a big part of... Uh of my learning process too. This game is so fast and uh, you don't got time for stick handling. So it's a habit that I try to get rid of and um, it's, a, it's a learning process for sure. And last but not least on this goal, your goal celebration. Like you looked up in the crowd and your hands are up in the air. Like you were really pumped. Is there a moment where you feel a goal is bigger and then you get so much ex ex excitement through it? Yeah, like we talked about, we were down the goal and uh, we came up the tide late in the game. And it's uh, it's an extra nice feeling uh, getting the goal at that time. So uh, yeah, you can see I'm I'm very happy. When you're looking in the crowd, uh, are you looking for Sabres fans to point to, or are you looking for Pittsburgh fans to point to and say, "Hi, I got you guys." <laughs> no, I saw a Sabres jersey today, so I, I'm trying to fire him up, and he was firing me. Yeah, up, he's so. standing up right there on the boards, as we can see. Exactly. So uh, it was uh, it was a good time. Well, Rasmus, thanks a lot for joining us today on Tablet Talk, presented by Lecom. Hope you score many more goals this year. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. I appreciate it.